Well, I had just got off of doing The Wonder Years, and I got this audition. My mom had told me that I got another audition, and I was like, what, what is this? Like, I, I just got off of a job, and I'm already getting another one. And I wasn't even sure I'd book it. And that's, I did the audition uh, as soon as I flew back home. And then the next week, I found out that I got a call back. So I did a meeting with the director. And then the next day, I found out that I got the role. The director, he just told me everything about Johnny. He told me their whole story and how this, this entire film is actually based on him. And I'm playing the best friend, which is very important. So, you know, it's just rehashing memories and how I love space. I love, you know, Apollo mission patch stickers, all this stuff. Me and, me and Paul were just a bunch of nerds. <laughs> I like him because I, I feel like I can relate to him because me and him, you know, we have friends and stuff, but most of the time we kind of go in that inner state where we're by ourselves and it's really hard to find somebody who we can relate to. And Paul was kind of the buddy that Johnny was looking for for a very long time. So, you know, it's just amazing. Cause I, I you know, I also go on these little blackouts where I'm thinking of stuff and I feel like I have nobody to relate to just about topics and stuff like that. Okay, so we're in the fall of 1980, and Johnny, he's a very social, he's the, like a class clown, but more to his personal life, which is what a lot of people don't know about, he doesn't have any parents, and he's in the custody of his grandmother, but she has dementia and Alzheimer's, so she doesn't remember anything, so it's kind of like he's on his own. He's bullied by his teachers, you know, uh, he's, he's kind of, he just has a lot of anger inside of him, and Paul's like that light that kind of, it brings him back alive. And you know, he just, he's not as privileged as most of the other kids are. He wears a lot of the same clothes, the same shoes, and nobody really notices it. And you'll see a lot more in the movie, like what really goes on in his life. And it's tough, it's tough. They were really close and they, it's like they had, they were able to know each other, but then they get in trouble and that kind of causes them to be separated. So they both, it's just it, like life kind of ends up going downhill for both of them. But he, uh, Johnny, he doesn't really, he has a very rough life and it sucks that he never, he was never able to make it to space to be an astronaut. It sucks that he never got to live out his dreams, but he just had to, he had to fight for his life. He had to do whatever it took to make money to support him and his grandmother. And he's, he's just on his own. Yeah, so uh, basically they had met the year before, but Johnny had stayed back. So the, the year when Paul kind of went to the next grade and Johnny was still in that same grade, you know, that kind of caused them to be closer because they were already, you know, friends who had small talks here and then like the last year. But this year, it gives them a chance to really know each other. So they were able to bond and they were able to realize that, you know, they like space. They like music like the Sugar Hill Gang and Curtis Blow. They like stuff like that. So they're able to bond and they both have a rebellious side to them. They like to have fun. They just like to mess around. And that kind of causes their friendship to get really close. It, amazing direction. Even, even at the callbacks, when I wasn't even sure if I got the role, he interpreted Johnny fully. So I was able to know every single detail about Johnny and that kind of helped me kind of go into character. And even when we're in between doing takes, he helps me on how I'm supposed to do this scene or how it was this way. And it helps a lot because now I really know what I'm doing. And when I'm confused, I'm able to ask him questions and he'll, he'll run down everything and it's just amazing. So two weeks before we started shooting, me and Banks had both flew up here. So we, uh, we were in the same hotel, so we were able to hang out and stuff like that. We explored New York together. We were able to bond. So whenever we're doing scenes, it's not as awkward. It's crazy. When I found out that I got the role, I couldn't, you could ask my mom, I didn't think it was real for like three days straight. I was like, somebody please pinch me or something. <laughs> yes, but it's, it's amazing. I'm just really glad and I'm blessed and grateful to have this opportunity because I did not expect this to come.
Yeah, so Johnny, he has a, so the, he kind of wanted to convince Paul to go to Florida because, I mean, both of them, you know, personally, their lives just aren't the best, so they kind of want to get away. Paul has his parents and stuff, and, you know, he was forced to leave Johnny to go to a new school, and Johnny, you know, there's nothing really holding me back except for his grandma. So, you know, they had planned it, so they planned to steal a computer from his private school, which is worth about $1,000. They planned to steal it and, you know, go to the pawn shop to get real cash for it, buy a ticket, to buy two tickets to a train, and just take it to Florida and start their new lives. It opens up my eyes a lot more. It really makes me, like, just reading the script, I'm just like, wow, this really happened, and wow, my character was really treated this way. Because, and me personally, I couldn't have put up with what Johnny put up with. And it makes me realize how privileged I am, because, you know, Johnny, he's not as fortunate as most of the kids in his classroom, not even Paul himself. He's just, he's really struggling. He has to fight for his own. He doesn't even have parents. So this, this film, it, like, really opens up my eyes. Um, I want them to be able to really, I want them to be able to interpret how real and serious racism is, especially back in the 80s, and I just want them to enjoy the movie, have a good time. <laughs> Everything, the filming, you know, just the people who I'm working with, everybody's amazing. Yeah, Banks, he's really cool. You know, me and him have really grown that friendship, and I'm just excited to see what more scenes we have to film, especially the, com the scene where we steal the computer. I'm really looking forward to that scene. It's gonna be fun, and I'm like, I like a lot of action. I'm that type of person, so you know, just, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna finally, cause you know, I'm not really rebellious, so this will be my opportunity to really be rebellious without having to get in trouble. You know, I'm just gonna have fun, and it's, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs>